You know, fear is uh, an interesting thing. There are times in our lives when fear is, uh, works to our advantage. Maybe when we're in some kind of dangerous situation. I've been on many hikes in Colorado. I'm always kind of aware that there is a possibility that there are bears in the area. I've never been uh, confronted with one and I hope I never am confronted with one because I'm pretty sure that if I am, there's going to be some fear that's going to flood my body. I'm usually with my wife and so pretty much know how I should respond and that is that I have longer legs and I can run faster than her. Just, just a little joke, but Fear can be good in those times. We're running from a fire in danger some way. But the problem is often fear can be also destructive in our lives. When we're fearful of things that uh, in our lives that cause us to respond in ways that, that are not honoring and pleasing to God. Maybe in these past days because of the difficulties of life, and your fearfulness, you've responded in ways uh, that God is not pleased with. Maybe you would respond with anger. Maybe we respond with harsh words. Maybe we would respond by just shutting down and deciding that uh, we're not going to be committed to the Lord. We're not going to trust in Him. It is then that fear becomes paralyzing to us and debilitating to us. But John the Apostle says that perfect love, the love God has for you and for me, it drives out all fear. Now, how is it that love drives out fear? You see, love can only drive out fear when we recognize and when we trust in the truth that God loves us. Do you really believe that God loves you? Do you really believe that God loved you so much that he gave his only son to die for you, that he loved you so much that he gave you his spirit to be in you, to comfort you and strengthen you and counsel you and to just be a constant present in your presence in your life, even in the midst of fearful times? That's how love drives out fear. It's when I rest in, no matter what may happen in my life, no matter what may happen in my health, may, no matter what may happen in my uh, opportunities in the future, whatever it may be, family, issues of life, that I know that he loves me. He promised me that he would never leave me or forsake me. If I could ever just rest in his love, fear, would no longer paralyze me. Fear would no longer debilitate my life. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, the Bible says. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will make your path straight. Fear, love, love drives it out. Rest in his love today. May God bless you. We'll see you next week.